What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Criterion Corner. This is the segment on my channel where I choose films from the Criterion Collection or streaming on the Criterion channel and talk about them in great detail. And I'm very excited today to be talking about everyone's favorite sicko director, John Waters. As a lot of you out there know who have been following me for a while, I am a huge fan of John Waters. I absolutely love his work and I love what he represents. I think he is a powerful symbol in the queer community. I think what his art represents in the time period that it was released is just incredibly important. And a lot of people don't get John's work. And I think that it's because they don't understand it in the context as to which it was created. And maybe you just don't have that great of a sense of humor, honestly. The movies are gross, they're absurd, they're really out there in moments. And as John has stated before, he grew up a queer kid in Baltimore and queer people were not perceived in a positive light in this era and so when queer people are, beca are called disgusting or satanist or filthy or any of those things john's making these movies to say okay if you think this is how we are then i'm gonna give it to you 100 percent and make it the most absurd thing you've ever seen and really try to gross you out and i think he succeeds in a lot of ways in his movies with that and i've seen i think this was my fifth or sixth john waters film i have not seen every film in his catalog but every movie i watched from him i grow to love his art even more more. And this is early in John Waters' career. This is before Pink Flamingos. This is one of his early films with Divine. And so I was very excited to watch it. And this film is in the Criterion Collection and also streaming on the Criterion channel. And the movie I'm going to be discussing with you today is Multiple Maniacs. Multiple Maniacs is directed by John Waters. Lady Divine becomes enraged when her boyfriend cheats on her and descends into a life of murder and mayhem. I was very, very excited to watch this movie because as I I said I am a huge fan of John Waters I love his work I think that he's such an important icon in the queer community and honestly just for filmmaking in general and I really enjoyed this movie I thought it was super entertaining I will say this is probably my least favorite film in John Waters catalog so far that I've seen and I think that that's just because it's incredibly rough around the edges and really early on in John's career and I feel like he took a lot of elements of this and perfected it with Pink Flamingos in the structure and the way that the story is told. Obviously both films are trying to accomplish a very similar thing but the thing with Multiple Maniacs is there's a lot of great moments that stand out and I'm excited to talk about that with you today. So at the beginning of the film we are introduced to the cavalcade of perversion which is a traveling sideshow led up by Lady Divine that brings people in to see puke eaters and homosexuals and all of these things that are meant to gross people out and they bring these people in off the street and after bringing them in and having them watch these filthy acts they steal from them and it's absolutely hilarious the first like 10 minutes of this movie is really exactly what i said about john waters career it's putting queer people and and people who are put in this light of being you know not natural or different or out there and how society perceives queer people john waters is putting that on display and a way that is satirical and hilarious and then we are introduced to lady divine who uh is running up the show and throughout the film we get the power dynamics of the people in the cavalcade and she's dating one of the guys that's involved who very shortly after ends up cheating on her with this other woman who wanted to be involved in the show well at the same time lady divine is out and about and she is approached in a church by mink who becomes her lesbian lover and the two of them have a very extended scene in a in a catholic church that is probably one of the funniest things i've ever watched in a movie where divine is reciting all of these things that she's learned in the catholic church uh while committing vile sex acts with a rosary and i laughed so hard i cried it was one of the funniest scenes the way that john waters cuts back and forth to these like scenes of jesus being crucified it's just one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. And so the movie is Divine takes her lesbian lover, Mink, and decides that she wants to get revenge on her boyfriend who is now cheating on her and she's going to kill him. And the boyfriend decides he is unhappy with Divine and wants to kill her. And the entire movie is just these random sets of sequences leading up to an ultimate confrontation. And as I said, this movie is just absolutely ridiculous. For starters, John Waters, there's something about 
about John Waters' dialogue. He has so many incredible one-liners in his movies that are the most quotable, hilarious, wonderful things in the world. I just found myself throughout the movie laughing so hard at some of the absurdest things that these people say. Divine especially, like the monologues that Divine gives. Divine was truly just one of a kind. Just the, just the performance that Divine would give in all of John Waters' films is just remarkable. Like the dedication to this character and to this role is remarkable. And in this movie, anytime Divine is on screen, it's just impossible to look away. And there's a scene in the third act involving a giant lobster that is so out there and so weird. And it's just so beautifully John Waters. And the great thing about this movie is a lot of it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't really matter. It's all about the experience and the ride that you're on while you're watching it. And really, J John doing exactly what I said early on in the review, which is just like looking at all the people who perceive the queer community in this negative light and saying, you want to see us this way? I'll give you us this way. And I find something so empowering about that because the queer community has been through so much over the years in the way that they're perceived, in the way that they're uh, treated as just these filthy, vile human beings. I mean, you even look at like pride parades or you look at like these things that that uh, in the uh, queer community, like drag shows and drag brunches or even drag library readings for kids where there's these things that aren't overtly sexual by nature that because society is so unwilling to understand and, and learn about these elements of the queer community that they're just viewed as these disgusting, non-human people and it's really unfortunate and I'm glad that John as early as the 70s was making work like this that is so incredibly powerful in its statement and it's also just truly hilarious I mean the 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 level of blasphemy in this film I'm sure if anyone went and saw screenings of this in uh, the 1970s which was a much more conservative era I can only imagine the amount of walkouts or people like puking in the theater or things like that and I love that so much it makes it brings a, it brings a smile to my face thinking about that and this is very rough around the edges you can tell this is truly underground cinema john had to have made this for virtually nothing that's Part of the film's flaw is there's moments of dialogue that uh, feel a little bit too stretched out and, and that I feel like could have been rearranged in a way that was more satisfying. Like I think about the structure of Pink Flamingos and how it's executed and it doesn't really waste any time. Every sequence in Pink Flamingos is just truly hilarious. And there were some moments in this that just made me laugh. There's a scene in particular with one of the characters that she says i've been run out of my own home and i just the dialogue the heavy baltimore accents just really get me when i watch these movies and like i said there's so many lines of dialogue in this that are super quotable and hilarious it gets violent as per john waters usual uh because they don't have a budget like the violent sequences are really hilarious there's a scene where divine tells off a cop that was absolutely wonderful and i had a huge smile on my face through this entire movie even even in the moments that I didn't feel like work as well. And I think if you're not a fan of John Waters' work, you're probably not going to like this movie. I mean, if you've established that you don't enjoy what he does at this point, it's not like this really is going to change your mind. But if you're a fan of John Waters or a fan of extremist comedy, you're going to love this movie. So if you've seen Multiple Maniacs, do you love it? Do you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was hysterical. I thought it was so funny. Divine was brilliant in it, and I can't wait to watch it again. As always, if you can like the video, and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for i'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day